Most of us expect to find history among ruins, not along such staggering beauty as the Rio Coa. Yet amidst this splendor are phantom voices gone unheard for thousands of years. This national monument is the only known instance where rock art of many different prehistoric and historic time periods reside in the same place. Today, it is the largest collection of outdoor Paleolithic figures known in the world. It took a worldwide outcry demanding knowledge before profits to give new life to lost artistic expression. All the story begins with the, the intention to build a dam in order to obtain some uh, electricity support to, the, to Portugal. In 91, first time, uh, was discovered some engravings, paleolithic engravings. So we have substituted the, the dam and the pro electricity program with another program, a cultural program, in 1996, we, we built uh, a park. Trained guides take visitors in park vehicles from the centers to the rock art sites. Access to the engravings at these sites is not easy. Much of the surrounding terrain is rugged and only accessible by foot. At present, the only rock sites open to the public are at Penascosa, Ribera de Piscos, and Canada do Inferno. In the Coa Valley, uh, since we are, we are at, uh, at an open-air uh, rock art site, and uh, we have uh, representations from 28,000 to 10,000 years ago, we don't have uh, a lot of painting. We have only one site in fire, uh, a sheltered site where we, we have some remains of red painting. The most important technique uh, uh, of representation in the in the Coa Valley is the is the engraving, and we can uh, can distinguish four four different techniques of engraving. The most important one and the less visible one, the fine line incision, where artists draw the lines with a small stone, flint or quartz uh, to draw uh, the animal and simply like that. Sometimes with multiple lines filling the body. Then we have uh, um, the technique of packing, probably the second most important technique, where the artist uh, used hammers, uh, rock hammers, to, to pack the lines uh, of the animals. And then uh, we have another technique, the abrasion, where the artists would, uh, would use another stone to, in making a movement back, backwards and forward, to, uh, to regularize the line that was previously packed. The fourth uh, and most um, rare te technique of engraving is the, is the scraping, where the artists use the, uh, a rock to, to scrape the, all, the, all the surface of the animal, creating a contrast in color between the animal and the, the color of, of the rock. Sometimes uh, the um, techniques uh, like fine line incis incision, uh, packing and, and abrasion were used in sequence. Firstly, the artist would, uh, would draw a sketch uh, with the, the technique of fine line incision, then we would pack the line to make it larger, and then he would uh, make it regular uh, by abrasion. And uh, we, we s very often see this sequence uh, in, in techniques.
the mouth of the Ribera de Piscos marks the transition between the gentle